right, Steve Riley and the Mamu Playboys. Mm -hmm. You know, they draw in big crowds wherever they go, and they're from Mamu, of course, and right, and also right here in Evangeline Parish. I talked to Steve about what makes this place so unique. Three of us out of the four who were from Mamu, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we just thought it'd be a good idea to pay tribute to the town that pretty much made us who we were. Steve Riley says the band's name and its 31-year legacy just work. He says as they travel the world, getting people to pronounce it correctly, well, that's the challenge. They get it wrong in a lot of places. What do they say? Oh, you know, we get Mama and Mamu. The master accordion player says he credits the authenticity of Cajun culture and it being on the forefront in Evangeline Parish with sparking his love for Cajun music. He says it was his grandfather who inspired his singing voice. He taught me how to sing Cajun songs. When his grandfather, Burke, died when Steve was seven, he let it go. You know, I couldn't listen to Cajun music for five years after that. Years later, he rediscovered his passion. The Grammy winner says the simplicity of life combined with the people who live there make Evangeline Parish different from everywhere else. Those are hardcore, hardworking, real good Cajun people. And the band has a new album out 30 years live. They've been in existence for over 30 years. You wow. can go to their website and figure out how you can get Always your Always put on such a great show, no Always. matter the festival here. Such a nice guy, in too. Acadia.